and the spines can really hurt. There it is, a sea urchin. Plucks. Plucks from the bottom of the and Bay of Naples. There are thousands of them down there. You can see why people use these as experimental animals. The inside of a sea urchin consists almost entirely of its reproductive organs, or gonads. Oh, this is very good. Look, gonads, how big they are. And you can recognize this is a male. Because you see here? I think, well, these are the gonads and this is the... The white part is the sperm. Wow. And fishermen, they believe this is indeed the, the milk of the sea urchin. Right, and this is a local delicacy here as well, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Do you want to try it? Of course. <laughs> Shall I show you how to do it? Yeah, go on then. Take this little piece. It's like eating the sea. Let me try. So I just suck it out? Just suck it out. Mmm. It's pretty salty. Oh, that's salty, yes. <laughs> Why have people used these for scientific research? Oh, that's pretty obvious. They produce billions of eggs, billions of sperm. And billions of eggs and sperm, each of them single cells, were just what Bavari needed for his experiment. Back in the lab, all Bavari had to do 